2023 elections again. <laughs> Please vote. Because if you do not vote, you're actually still voting. There's been a lot of buzz lately around getting a PVC, you know, a permanent voter's card, the nationally accepted legal and approved instrument for participating in elections in Nigeria. The reason for this buzz you know, is quite evident, it's obvious. The average Nigerian is tired. They're tired for a number of reasons. It's the rising inflation, plummeting value of the Nigerian Naira, while the cost of living continues to skyrocket. It's the cost of doing business in Nigeria, you know, which is high. As a matter of fact, Nigeria ranks 130, a distant sad 130, 131 actually, in the global ranking of ease of doing business. Let's not talk about insecurity or unemployment or corruption. Clearly, the Nigerian electorate has every reason to be angry and to desire change, real change this time. Hence the buzz around getting the PVC. You know, without the average, without which the average eligible voter in Nigeria cannot vote. But as angry as we are, there's still a lot of Nigerians who are yet to get their PVC. I mean, it's understandable because a lot of people are of the school of thought that their votes do not count. If you need a picture definition of voter apathy, and just look at an average Nigerian. Let's look at some data to put this in context. Using the last three election cycles in Nigeria, in 2011, elections were held on the 16th of April. There were three major contenders and 73.5, about 73.5 you know, million registered voters. 53.7% turned up to vote. Former President Gulo Jonathan had 22 point, about 20.5 million votes, carrying 22 states and the FCT. Mohamed Bari had about 12.2 million votes, clinching 13 states, and Malan Nur had 2 point, you know, about 2.1 million votes, taking one state. President Jonathan won that election with about 10 million votes. In 2015, four years after, elections were held on the 28th and 29th of March, about 69 million people registered, Put that side by side with 20, 2011, that's already 5 million people less from 2011. 5 million people less registered to vote in that year. Again, 43.65% turned up to vote. That's another 10% less than 2011. The two million candidates were former President Claude Jonathan, who garnered about 12.9 million votes, picking up 15 states and the FCT, and you know, current President Mohamed Buhari, who won that election by 15.424 million votes. Clinching 21 states. He won with less than 3 million votes. In 2019 elections, the elections were held on 23rd, 24th of February 2019. There were about 82.3 million voters registered, the highest so far in the written history, but unfortunately, only about 35% of those people turned up to vote. Again, President Mohamed Bari won that election with 15.2 million votes, clinching about 19 states, about 300,000 less votes than he won with in 2015. While his opposition, Alaji Atiku Abaka, had about 11.26 million votes, clinching 16 states plus the FCT. President Buhari again won that election with less than 4 million votes. Now, the next election, you know, the voting cycle is around the corner, less than a year away. You don't have to be a numbers person to know that the numbers actually do matter and your vote actually does count. I mean, just do the research and look at the numbers. You're very clear. Because if you don't vote, you are part of the numbers, not making a difference. As a matter of fact, if you do not vote what you want, you are voting for what you don't want. If you are not voting, you are actually still voting. So go get your PVC and vote. Wow. That's what I like about it is the fact that if you are not voting, you are actually voting, which is the reality. Yeah. It's a yes. sad reality. Yeah. Yeah, because you leave it to many p other people to vote for you and make a choice for you. And which means that when you're lamenting about the bad state of the government or the country or whatever it is you call it, mm -hmm. you technically don't have a right to because you really mm -hmm. pushed exactly. your power to vote. Mm -hmm. And the person who you don't want got into power. And I think that is, and it ties back to what you said earlier mm -hmm. on that. People focus on the two major parties. And if any other party comes, they say, oh, he won't win the election because you're not voting for him. Mm. Imagine every Nigerian that is disgruntled against any or any party decides this is who I am going for. Mm. What kind of election do you think we'll have? We'll turn, we'll upturn, upset the election completely. Yes, mm. the, the, I think our major problem now, I think there's a lot of campaign around PVCs. A lot of people do not even have a voter's card. 
Mm. Like mm. a lot of people, a lot of market women do not even have a voter's card. Mm. I think the educated and bit educated ones have a voter's card, but a lot of Nigerians do not actually have voter's mm. card. So I think the voter's card should be, should, I don't know, maybe there's a way around it, but I know there's a lot of campaign about getting a voter's card. But I think now they should make it um, easy. You know, maybe each local government or something. I don't know, but that's something actually is where it is. I mean, I, I mean, I always yeah. say there's, there's no problem in Nigeria that technology cannot solve. Mm -hmm. Just think about the fact that everybody's scrambling for their BVN now or their NIN. Mm -hmm. That's a very easy way to make voting easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you think about it, by the time they're done with these exercises, these NIN exercises, you probably have maybe 120, 150 million people with NINs, mm -hmm. right? Yes. If you look at the percentage of those people. That are vote, that of you know eligible to vote. Mm -hmm. It will shock you that you have maybe sixty yeah, seventy percent or more. So mm -hmm. clearly you have a hundred million voting population that can actually vote with their NIN. I mean, mm, why? That why be do we have to? I mean, this, it, why do we have to make this thing so? This is rocket science. It, it makes on, perfect please. sense. I mean, that's the easiest mm, way to do it, right? Too. You know, but there's this Nigerians we feel that we see it as cumbersome. But even at that, even the process of getting register getting a PVC now is not cumbersome. Mm -hmm. You all you need to do is register online. You get there. It's easier and faster for you. I registered online. My wife didn't. We got there. There was no queue. You know, mm. we were told go there eight o'clock. We went there around eleven. We said, let's mm. just try. Let's tomorrow, let's just go and see. And we mm. went there and we did it in less than two hours. You see? Mm. But we wouldn't rush now until when it's one week to the end. But yeah. exactly. let's bring comfort yeah. in. <laughs> Okay, so mine is just summing it up. So basically, what you're saying is that we should get our, our voters' card so that we can vote for the lesser of the two evils that will come out on that day. That, that, that's just it. At least. Because, yeah, that, so, you know, so my point here is that really which of the the people that are coming out is actually going to be desirable to bring the change. As, as Kai just said, if we don't even become part of the system that brings out the flag bearers, mm. Mm -hmm. then we are going to keep on having this circle because at this point it's just two evil people that are going to come out and the less someone we're going to vote for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now be yeah. before Tulu comes in, I think rather than say vote for the two of one one of le uh, the lesser evil, why not just waste your votes on any any other candidate? Imagine mm -hmm. we all decide I won't vote for any of these two. I want to waste yes, my I vote. Want to, yeah, I want to go for somebody else. You voted. Yeah. Okay. Waste it on that candidate. <laughs> well, well, again, I mean, so, again, so it's so not just the presidential so elections. To, so you know, we need that, to check. Yeah. So, so we need to check the method behind that madness. Yeah. So I will go and stand in the queue with my vote, then just to cast it for somebody. I, I, okay, you are saying if all of us are disgruntled and all cast our vote in this direction, yeah. we might actually be lucky to have a one trick pony. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I mean, it's, it's a game of numbers. I, I also it think. Yeah, also we, think yeah. Yeah. We, we have to really run. I mean, we thank you for your attention. While the program lasted, we hope that conventions resonated with you, and that in some small way encourage you to contribute to your immediate environment. Little drops of water, they say, make a mighty ocean. Don't forget, the advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG, and on Twitter and on Instagram at Plus TV Africa. Hashtag the advocate ng. To catch up with previous podcasts, go to plustv.com, plustvafrica.com, slash the advocate ng. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Join us next week, same time on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.